is a quick demonstration of how I prepare my Venus flytrap soil. I'm going to be doing a 50-50 mix of peat and perlite. Uh, I've got two buckets here. I'm losing the light, but uh, this one has holes in the bottom. It could actually be bigger to help it drain faster. It gets clogged a little bit. And this bucket does not have holes. This has got my peat moss in it right now. I'm using Premier peat moss. It's a big bale. So I've already soaked this for a few minutes. It's not a whole lot of soil, so I didn't soak it very long. Soaked this in uh, just hose water for the first soak. And then pulled out all of the peat moss that floated and put it in my draining bin. Let it drain out and then squeezed out as much water as I could. Moved it back into here. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with a round of pure water. My hose water here is only uh, around 200 to 300 parts per million. Um, so that's why I use hose water first. It's not extremely dirty. It's usually cleaner than the soil I'm rinsing. So I do that first. Now I'm using reverse osmosis with distilled water. All right, my moss has been soaking for about five minutes and I'm just gonna give it a stir. Uh, you can use a stick or something to shovel it. Stir it up. But honestly, I usually just use my hand. And I'll grab handfuls and I'll just squeeze it. Make sure it all gets water absorbed into it and squished back out. Another thing worth mentioning is when the peat moss was dry, but for my first rinse with the hose water, um, it is very hydrophobic. So you wanna do that kneading process with your hand, squeezing it and kneading it in the water uh, the first time for sure. Um, otherwise you could have clumps that are wet on the outside but still dry on the inside. That's actually my primary reason for doing this whole process. <clears throat> um, you know, it is good to be extra precautious and make sure your soil is clean but when you put the dry peat moss directly into a pot, sometimes it can, uh, when you water it, look wet on top, but just a few inches down it'll be bone dry. It repels the water. So you don't want to be watering your plants. I think you're watering your plants and have the roots just sitting in dry peat moss. That's no good. All right, so it's been about long enough for this stuff to soak, as long as I want to wait at least. Need it one more time in there. I wasn't planning to make this video, but I have some plants arriving, so I thought I would take my process. So sorry for the failing light. I'm going to transfer all of the floating moss in here. Put this back up. Into my drainage bucket with the holes in it. And what I do is just scoop Top floating stuff off. Squeeze the water out. Transfer it into this one with the holes. And this stuff that floats is going to have the best drainage. Most of it scooped out there, you can see there's just some dusty stuff floating on the top. Maybe you can't see, but there is. It's actually not as dark as it looks out here. But uh might be able to get a little bit more skimmed off the top there, but not much. Anything that's sunk, you can use. But it's just uh won't have as good a drainage as the stuff that floats. And with this brand that I showed you. There's very little, yeah, there's almost nothing at the bottom. So it's not a whole lot of waste or anything. So I will just, uh, actually I'm gonna test this first. My TDS meter.
you can pick up one of these for ten to fifteen dollars, I believe. Uh, very handy for growing carnivorous plants. What this is going to tell you is how many minerals in parts per million there are in your water. You want it generally. The general rule of thumb is below 50, but the lower the better. Distilled water is zero, and that's what you want to be watering your plants with. So this is the water that I rinsed my soil in, so it should be kind of dirty. Stick it in there, make sure there's no air bubbles in it. And it is reading 81, which is pretty good considering this is supposed to be dirty water. I would expect the next rinse through to be below 50 or right around it. So this would be good enough really, since I know this soil to plant my plants in right now without another rinse, but I'll give it one more after it drains for a little bit. All right, I'm gonna transfer this back in to my soaking bucket. But you're going to repeat this process as many times as you need to until your drainage water starts coming out fairly clean. Okay, so I removed my soil again. Check the TDS of this water. And it has come out at 46. So that is good to go. Good enough for me. And then what I'll do is extra if you have any especially a big bag like this is I'll just duct tape it up and try to seal it as best as I can you don't want any moisture getting in there uh, which can happen just from humidity um, that will cause any sort of fungal growth or anything that you're gonna end up planting your plants into and I keep my perlite in a big bag and I'm gonna give this a rinse as well so when uh, you hear 50 50 percent peat moss perlite mixture, that means by volume, not by weight uh, or any other measure. So I've separated half of my, uh, my peat moss into half of my bucket and I'm just going to fill it up the other half with perlite. It doesn't have to be exactly 50 and 50 so this method will work. And I'm going to dump out that perlite into my rinsing bucket and I'm gonna need both hands for that. An important note when working with perlite, even peat moss when it's dry, is you don't want to breathe in the dust. <laughs> that goes for silicon, silicon sand as well if you're using any of that. Stuff will get in your lungs and cause some nasty problems. So uh, it's advisable to wear a mask or just uh, breath when you're pouring. Um, so I'm gonna sorry I don't know where the vent is here. Give this a rinse and uh, it's less important to rinse your perlite since it is neutral to begin with but they may have rinsed it with some nasty water or something before they sold it. So let's just give it a quick rinse and make sure there's nothing on it. And if it wasn't made obvious by this whole rinsing process itself both the peat moss and the perlite are unfertilized. There's no fertilizer, no nutrients in it. Rinsing is to make it. So I'm just giving this a good rinse. One time through.
pieces are now ready to mix up. bag or something, just shake it. I've done that with smaller quantities before. Like that. About consistency you're looking for. Real airy. Real squishy. Good stuff. Nice, love it.